Hi, this is Uli Scholten. Welcome to the Skyradar video channel. Today I will give you an introduction into our X-ray training simulator. X-ray for cargo has been developed to train and familiarize the staff that has to check cargo in the frame of the air, um, air freight supply chain. The simulator includes three different modes. We've got the design mode, we've got the exam and definition mode, and we've got the run exam mode. Let's start with the design mode. We are now in the design environment. On the left we see the object repository. You see we start with the Kalashnikov, Kalashnikov. we've got bomb devices, boxes with the bananas, life plants, a TV, water bottles, several bags with various different uh, contents. You see from textile plant, um, polyethylene uh, bag with starch inside, a polyethylene uh, bag with potassium inside. Here the bag is textile, but the contents are cocaine. We've got a Volton pallet, which we might now place into the canvas. In the middle, we've got that canvas. The canvas, that's the environment where we arrange our designs. We can change positions, which helps us to better design contents. We can place, for instance, um, a box with bananas. requires a little bit of familiarization in the beginning to get the boxes properly placed. And of course you do not really see the bananas. Let's go to the configuration panel on the right and make the objects transparent. So we see the bananas now. And we might want to add, hmm, let's add a gun. Let's put something on the right side which might cover it a little bit. For instance, a water bottle. Mm, it's a bit bigger. Let's place it. See whether it's, you see it's flying a little bit, so let's place it really on the pallet. Are we there? Mm, landing, landing. We squeeze the Kalashnikov in the middle, hoping that it will be difficult to be found. Okay, we got that one now. Let's call it bottle gun. Bananas. There's one feature which I want to show you. This is the boundary box. It helps us to position the objects within the reach of the scanner. We now have our test cargo assembled. And I want to see how will these objects look in the typical X-ray visualization. So let's give it a try. Let's go into a preview. So we've got here the front view in the um, pseudo color 
approach, you see the metal looking through. Here the wooden part of the gun of course is organic. Back part is metal again. You see the bottle with the water, darker. You see the bananas. Let's uh, uh, switch filters. Let's see what else we have. Only the organic. So the metal parts will be grayed out. The inorganic, focusing on the metal parts. See some nails also in the palette. Grayscale. Inverted. And the normal view. Let's do the following now. Let's switch scan sides. from a different side. You see that it's much more difficult to see the Kalashnikov here. Let's switch the filter. The image is being rendered here. We only have the organic part. So it is much better in this configuration to look with the frontal view but this of course depends on the cargo that shows how important it is to have a dual vision approach where you look at the cargo from at least two sides. Let's see what the inorganic image is giving us. Yeah, see, it's, the other one was much better. You see, you see even the nails here in the palette you see there's only one in the bottom part here. There's lots of them here. You see the gun, the bottle. So, very interesting. And I can switch the estimation mode. Perhaps we go back to grayscale, invert it to the normal filter and go to, we've got here our mode dual energy 2. Our documentation show the estimation mode. What does estimation mode mean? You know, if you work with an x-ray scanner, the physical machine, all companies use slightly varying uh, approaches to estimate and to generate the image. What we did is based on research papers, based on the publications of these manufacturers, we implemented various modes to show you that with different machines you get different images. And of course, you as an expert, you shall be familiar with the approach and not with the typical visualization of a specific machine only. So here's a simple view, again slightly different to what we saw before. In the design mode, we can configure a couple of things. For instance, we can set here what we would expect in a test would be the right answer. Of course, you've got a gun here, it's an alarm. And <laughs> evidently, when you try to smuggle a Kalashnikov, you would not really not show it. So let's say, show something else let's say metal bar so there will be something metal but not the Kalashnikov I save my configuration and that's it we're now here in the exam definition mode we can generate exams based on the pre uh, saved or prepared exercises. For instance, here you see our bottle gun bananas. Let's do a new exam. Let's rename it because new exam is boring. Let's call it YouTube video example exercise. Oh, what a bug 
machine. Eh? Okay, we got that one here. We are in it. And let's put this one. Bottle, bag, gun. Banana, two bags. And that one. There we go. It's saved. So let's now run an exam. You see here our video example and oh it only contains one sample now. Why is that so? I tell you, I just want to accelerate the whole thing in order not to get you bored. So what you see here is by default the solution coming in um, pseudocolors. Pseudocolors, you know the organic stuff comes in some brown uh, orange the um, non-organic comes in greenish and the metal and the very dense parts come in, in blue. This is by the way generated based on the atomic figure meaning the proton number within the material that you see here. The organic uh, materials have a very long very sm small quantity of protons between 0 and 10. The inorganic ones are in the environment of 10 to 15. Finally also aluminium, so that's why aluminium appears also in green. And then the metals, 15 upwards, uh, blue. So, you see the zero colors. Let's see the grayscale. This is a typical visualization which you have in a dual vision um, scanner. Of course, pseudo colors would be the next one. The negative view. The inorganic. <laughs> you see again how our craftsman here forgot the nails. <laughs> here they are. The gun is pretty well seen here. The organic filter. The gun should be very difficult to recognize. Well, let's have a look at our airway bill. There's a metal bar, you remember. We didn't want to properly declare our Kalashnikov. So, folks, what is it? Is it compliant? Hmm. Manual check. Is it an alarm? Let's do that one because Kalashnikovs are not really what we want to see in our aircraft. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> of course it is correct. Hey, we made it. We made it. Score one of one. We have successfully passed the audition. Folks, I hope you like it. Come to www.skyradar.com. See much more cool stuff for security, aviation security, radar technology, everything you need to make our world a bit safer. Bye for now.